Another week. We're back again. Hello, everybody. Let's put the stream music on this time. Why not? Lovely stuff. Right. Uh, let me get the controller overlay on as well. Lovely. Let's move that down a little bit. Out there. Good stuff. So we are back again. We are at round two of the MXB GP series and currently got the red plate, which is something that I didn't think would actually happen. So happy days. Uh, we've got the bike right here. Lovely red plate bike made by Mr. McChicken himself. And we are at Lombardia, or I mean, I, I prefer calling it Mantova, if I'm honest. Um, and we got obviously on the qualifying track right now. Qualifying track actually hell of a lot of fun. Very, very quick. Um, there's a the bump here or there that might cause you some issues going into the corners. But other than that, it's very, very quick. Um, I'm probably not going to stay in the ser server the entire way through qualifying. I'll probably just run a lap that I feel like will get me in. And then I'll leave and go and play on the racetrack a little bit because I've not touched it at all just yet. Uh, I do need to learn the track a little bit though because it is using the base of the 2021 MX of Nations track that we used. Uh, and it's just changed slightly. Some of the jumps are a bit different. Some of the corners kind of ride a little bit different. So I need to get the muscle memory of the old track out of my head and get some uh, some new muscle memory on this track done. But yeah, got the red plate by, I think, nine points ahead of, I think it's Matteo that's in second. And we've got Finn riding this week. And I think Scoozy might be riding as well. Both are very, very fast outdoor riders. Finn especially, he whooped my absolute cheeks at the pre-season race so we'll see how it goes and it's not the end of the world if we don't go like 1-1 one, one or anything like that as long as we just score some decent pointage I'll, I'll be a happy man how are we all doing how is everyone today any monday blues or are we all we all good are we in good moods oh keep it together there we go so we've got i think we've got six and a half minutes of actual practice left in here and then I think it's a 20 or 30 minute qualifying session. I generally can't remember off of last week. I never I never know week to week. Yeah, I think the track the track looks very, very pretty. I done he's done such a good job on where it looks like the uh the track crew have been out and like freshly gra graded and groomed ill. It looks really, really nice. But I will say, whilst uh, whilst a bunch of you are here, is if the servers die again because they died yesterday when the 125 series was trying to go on they died for a whole bunch of time before uh, na supercross on friday if they die and the race gets cancelled then i will be turning this stream into episode or part two of the forest so i apologize for those of you that will be here for mx bikes and I could have I could have turned this into like a public lobby stream if I wanted to, but I was really enjoying the forest the other day, and I don't want it to be a case of I only play it like once every like week or every two weeks or so, you know. So if all goes well and smoothly, we'll do the race as normal. If the servers die and the race has to be cancelled, we'll uh, we'll continue on on the forest where I left off on Saturday, I think it was. Yeah, Saturday. They're already dead. Oh god. Oh, I can see there's only yeah, there's only eight people in this server. So I mean, I'm going to stay in here. I'm going to ride around as I as I normally would, you know, and uh, see if they come back to life. If not, then yeah, we'll, I'll go and play the uh, well, Sons of the Forest. Sorry, not not the Forest a bit more. Because we had a really good time on Saturday playing it. Lots of people were very very helpful. I only died a handful of times because <laughs> I am absolute booty cheeks at games like that. We'll get probably get a good few hours under our belts. So, yeah, worst case scenario is you'll still get a stream today. Probably just just not what you expected, really. Which is a shame, because Reboso doesn't seem to be urgently trying to fix anything. Apparently he's put a bit of code into the game to like debug and try and work out why the servers go down. But he keeps saying everything looks fine, even though they're not fine, because they keep dying and we keep trying to tell him that, tell him that they're dying. Um, these are Tech 10s. I've had them for a very long time. I don't think they're the standard T-Crane ones, though. I have no, generally have no idea where you'd go and download them from. I've had them in my game for ages and ages and ages. The uh, reason I'm rocking them is I just like the, the full red colourway to go with the Honda and the white gear. I always over-scrub that little double there. And this one I always OJ, so we'll check up a bit. 
Then yeet off the single, scrub this double hard. Let's try railing the outside here rather than checking up. I don't think it's the end of the world. Same with here, not too fussed about. Trying to hug the inside, just get a better drag. Launch that bad boy over, jump it, and tuck the front end. Oh god. <clears throat> this is a race you have to sign up for, Alex. It's not open to everybody. Uh, you, you have to be whitelisted on the servers, so even if you knew what server it was, you wouldn't be able to join it. Does this track actually use sand traction? No, no, it doesn't. I've never been to um, Mantover IRL. I don't know how sandy it actually is. It looks, obviously, the textures look quite sandy, but no, it's not. It's not sand. And oddly enough, I I tried the sand tires the other day in the sandy sections on Daytona, which uses like the sand traction, and the Midsoft 80 front and the Midsoft 120 rear still has more traction than the sand tires do. So work that one out for me. <laughs> so I think even if it was a full sand track, I still don't think the sand tires would end up getting used. Oh, that's kind of a harsh banking to go into there. Oh Jesus! Are we sliding? Ooh. I need to get my timing down on these jumps because I keep OJ in and you can see there. Twi oh, my bike's twitching quite a lot. I think I should try getting to the insides in these corners a little bit. Shorten the distance around the track. I hate this tabletop. Doesn't matter what version the track is made, or whoever the track creator is, that little tabletop there is so annoying to try and downside right where it's so steep. And it, I just blame it on the real life, uh, the real life track design. Oh, front end trying to tuck on me. On the binders, down to the left. On the binders again. Can't wait for this. Like, where last week everyone was like, "Oh, this track's just a replica of Winchester." I can't wait for people to now be like, "Oh, it's just a replica of uh, Mantoa." Oh, front end almost went on me there. See, that felt like a good lap, and I'm still one and a half seconds off of Old Finn, so he's definitely uh, he do be barking. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the Honda for me, the Honda 250 is, it's like old reliable. Like, it never never does me too wrong. It has the occasional front end issues, but power's good, turns good for the most part. Um, the stock suspension as well is pretty, pretty good to go straight out of the box, so I haven't got to spend hours and hours and hours testing. But yeah, it's uh, always good to, to go back to it. I was contemplating trying a different bike, but didn't really, didn't really feel the need to. Uh, none today, Smarties. I, I have it so Mondays and Fridays are my days off just because obviously I'm streaming at the time that I would be going. We'll see how this evening unfolds actually on if I go or not because we can do some forest and then maybe I'll go afterwards or depending on how invested into the forest I get, might not go at all. Yeah, otherwise I probably would go every single day but it's nice to force myself to have days off a little bit to let the body recover. going to throw it out there, the fact that there is still only eight people in this server, I'm guessing that the servers are fully deaded and the race is probably going to be cancelled and Nico is probably going to burst a blood vessel in his head complaining at Poboso. It's like, it's sad because like, 
you got know, people like Nico, Stone Rider, Chicken, all of the other people that host their series on IMXB as well, uh, that I don't know of. Uh, they put in a lot of work behind the scenes. You got uh, JV has spent a hell of a lot of time making these tracks for us to race as well. And it just ends up being for nothing because the game can't handle itself. And the weird thing is that we had no issues uh, Anaheim 1 when Anaheim 1 we had like 800 or so sign-ups and the most people. So I don't understand why now when we've got slightly less people signed up and trying to race the the servers just die. But I don't know. The track is I, I guess it's like Keegan's. I mean it's a lot like uh, Mantova slash Lombardia in Italy because that's where the track is. I think it's Italy. I want to say it's Italy. <laughs> I hope I'm not wrong about that. That'll be embarrassing. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Well, if I'm sitting here and I'm having to check up this much for a few of these jumps, the 450 boys must be hating themselves. <laughs> Oh, they must be f over jumping everything. At least I haven't got to worry about downside in that jump well though to get over this triple. It's probably probably quite easy. Um, I don't know. I'm not using static camera. You can see my uh, my front end moving about as I lean forwards and sideways and here, there, and everywhere. I am very much in dynamic. jump's actually really nice. It sends you a lot higher than it ever has done on any other uh, version of the truck. Oh, turn! Ah, oh, you bastard. <coughs> Hello, Navo, you're up. Sorry, I was just, uh, just reading the chat a little bit, see what I was missing out on. I should probably actually I should try and go for a lap, shouldn't I, rather than sitting here looking at chat, but part of me's, I'm like, kind of convinced that this race isn't going to be going ahead today, so I don't feel like it's that important, but I'll, do, um, I'll try and do some laps regardless. Oh, I wonder if you could double in off of that. I wonder if, I feel like you definitely can. Let me go start, a, uh, start another lap, no point me carrying on that one. Where's that man gone? Oh my Jesus, get the bike in a straight line. No, you bastard. Oh, I didn't feel like I was pushing that back end too much then either. I mean, it'll still be our best lap if I carry on, so I might as well. 
doesn't hurt to get a, a banker lap in there, does it? Oh, yeah. Apex that corner horrendously. That was not good. Silent Revel line. 45, like four seconds off where I should be. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, uh, practice. Uh, yeah, cool. Shall I, I double? Oh, no, people are joining now. My servers might be back up then. We might, we might still be on. So I need to run a faster lap time. Yeah, let's uh let's go for a fast at that. Never mind. Not that. <clears throat> Try again. Gentle that time. Oh, you. Uh, uh, okay, that wasn't qualifying. I am El Noob. I don't. I thought. Well, that was it for some reason. Let's make it all fresh. Oh, we're back to a 10 minute practice. Oh, God. Is it all going to be restarted now because not everybody got their 10 minutes of practice? That's frustrating. Alright, let's try this inside like I wanted to. Oh, that's much quicker than what I was doing. If I get up and over the triple, that is. Oh, that sent me way too high. I think I hit a weird bit on the face, that. Oh, I guess I'm going outside here. This will be a good test, see how much Carlo gains on me here. Yeah, inside, definitely quicker. What about here? Oh, he's going outside as well. Oh my goodness, front end. I keep it in third gear here because I always have to shift down like, as soon as I get out of the corner. Okay. I think people aren't seeing the servers didn't have the up there. That's not how it works, Screen Waffle. No, that's not how it works still. You can see every server, don't matter what bikes you got. Is just Poboso servers being absolute garbage and not working properly. Oh, it was a proper. I didn't realise there was a really low line on the uh, left side of that takeoff. I just don't know how I'm going to get over there. Turn that down a little bit so the front end don't tuck. This should all be stock. Oh no, it's not. Hmm. Did I change? Let me try this out real quick. 
I'll leave the geometry the same, it should be okay. Uh, yes, Joshua, you make the folders yourself. They couldn't do the blight folders because Mediafire, not Mediafire, Mega doesn't let you upload blank folders, so all you have to do is make them. What's wrong with me? What's going on with my breaking? I feel like I'm not being that, that violent on it. I mean, you can see if I slow it down, have a look at my breaking down here. I'm not even like half. And it just instantly uh, comes out on me. Oh. Let's, uh, let's follow Finn for a lap. Why not? I have no idea how he doesn't slide out more standing up everywhere, but his style uh, very perfectly suits the outdoors. nice. Yeah, left side lat's super low. Uh, 41 3. Oh, I'm still a second off. Where do I gain a second? I feel like that was really quick. Oh, hello, Reaper. You're right. <laughs> oh, my lordy. I mean, it's gonna. Is this even. It doesn't matter. This is still practice. It's not even qualifying. But yeah, I feel like that was a burner and I'm still a second off. Hello, frustrating. Is kicking. I mean, I'm point two five up already, which isn't terrible. Oh, there, there she goes. Ah, oh, I was point four up, so there is time. I know, I know, there's time. No, no sand tires. It's not sand traction. No, I don't think I'm riding that, Matthias. Just doesn't look that interesting. The whole setup of it was very, very rushed. Uh, like they wanted riders ASAP when it weren't happening for months away, and the guy hosting it has been known to like rip skins and things like that. So just, no, I'm just not that interested. I think there should be three other guys on creations that are doing it though. So I, I'm not really uh, shouldn't be needed. Oh, 
Well, that's a good start to a lap, isn't it? There goes Charlie from Discord Cult. Quite like I forgot I was in a call with him. I told him I'd be back after doing the intro and talking to him. <laughs> My bad. It's incredibly annoying this man slowed down and then I got behind him and now he's going fast. Went four up, that's not too bad. Need to make sure I jump further left because I keep getting hooked over to the right. Oh, it was Jackson. No surprise he was waiting for me. Yeah, Jackson, just, just run your own laps. You don't need to be sitting on top of me. Um... Oh, that was much quicker than I thought. It's only point one, point one off of what I've, of uh, Finn, which I'm quite happy with. Pretty decent. It, it doesn't count, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I agree, Reaper. They are very, very nice. All of his tracks. Uh, shall I? Yeah, I'll, I'll overwrite this. Keep it completely stock. Why not? Oh, pardon me. Now we just have to wait for uh, it to change to qualifying, and I think we get 20 minutes? And then as long as I get like one, if I get a 41.5 or lower in qualifying, I'm just going to go and play the race version because there's really no need to keep grinding away because it will 100% get me in. Uh, I mean, there's a B group for this same series if you can class that as amateurs but there's no dedicated amateur series as such <clears throat> this one isn't even like a dedicated pro one it's just a series so the top 35 make it into the a races and then 36 through to 70 go into the b races and if you're not qualifying in the top 70 then i feel like you should probably just practice a bit more before going and trying to uh, do proper races. Alright, here we go. This is actual qualifying now, so let's see how we do. Oh, back end's already getting nice and squirrely on me. I 
think I'm making it to this inside. Oh, I thought the front end was going to go on me there. Got a little bit sideways in the air by mistake. the inside. That's going to cost me a, a tenth or two. I'm not getting my breaking point styled whatsoever for these uh, steep bank corners. Should be shifting up to third gear on the downside lap. 40.7 is pretty decent to start. I feel like 100% one of these boys are going to get into the 39s, maybe 38s if they uh, get a perfect lap time. Oh, I'm making this inside. God damn it. Yeah, I'll give it another one or two goes. I know I said it'll be as soon as I get a 41.5 and, and below, but since that was literally my first attempt, I may as well make the most of my time. Back in trying to come out on me again, that was an awful corner. Half a second off, so oh, no, oh, rest in peace. I was gonna say if I gain half a second back, then that's impressive, but no, not to be. Imagine not riding lean help. What do you mean? Why would you want lean help on? Oh well, yeah, lean help's like having stabilizers on your bike, IRL. Why would you want that? Just limiting yourself. Jumping too far left. is not the play in that second one. No! Oh, it was like 0.4 off. <clears throat> on. I feel like I could get in the 39s with something really, really good, but I'm not going to stress about it too much. I'm going to have another one or two attempts at this, and then we'll go try the race version. back end does not like going into that corner at all.
Oh my god. Oh, what's just happened to my front end there? How do I lose like 0.3 of a second in one corner? So I want third gear it coming out of this one. Then I want second gear coming out of the next one. Get second gear out of this one. Because then I can shift up and I hit that jump. Stop sliding. Stop sliding. Stop sliding. Oh, it's fine. It's gone. God damn it. Yeah, that's enough for me. Right, gonna go play the race version. Mm -hmm. I mean, servers aren't even working, so that's great. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, took a second. Right, uh, Lombardia race. Let's get a bit of a road going on as well. Right, right, right. Uh, it's not under 2023, it's under JV Lombardia. Updated. Got mix, put some race fuel in her. And a half. Nice. Right. Let's practice the racetrack a little bit. A bit later on in the day, the sun is setting. Oh, they're little choppy bumps. Oh, they're very choppy bumps. Okay. Side. Oh my goodness, that is hella rough. You just scumbag it in low line. At least these nice and smooth. Like a lot of these inside lines seem quite OP so far. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that. Like, look at. Look at the size of this inside rut compared to the outside. I, would, I don't think there's any benefit of going outside there at all. My inside would be the move. Thank you, Casanova. Uh, same with there as well. It's all fine, this is all the same. 
Right, what's this corner looking like? At least it kind of, it almost forces you to go outside in the second part of that. Oh, God. My bike does not want to turn over these little choppy bumps whatsoever. It's like, it just wants to keep going forwards. Let's try the outsides this lap, see what they're like. This one's got three ruts rather than the normal two. Middle one is quite nice. I feel like inside there will be main, and then when it gets too rough, we can kind of go further and further out. Right, there's no real point going outside here. Same as around here, really. They don't. I don't think they're that comparable. Can we ride the tops of these for once? I feel like Poboso physics with really high banked corners probably don't work very great. Right, oh, outside around here. I mean, it's not terrible. I mean, first lap, maybe, to avoid some, some carnage you could get around there. These other ruts like... I think there's going to be some disgusting cross jumping going on there. You got to be careful if you're uh, taking the outside in case someone comes over from your left. And what's our outside looking like here as well? Not too shabby, quite smooth. Brakes. Stuffing inside there is always going to be quickest. I will try far outside down here. It's quick. It's just a lot more, uh, a lot more track that you end up covering. One bump there is going to catch me out a few times. I think it's just as you want to start turning in. And as you know, if you start turning whilst your front wheel's in the air, it will just uh, flop you over. Oh, it's uh, it's that time of the stream again, boys, where you need to entertain yourself for two minutes whilst I go and do uh, you know what. So, uh, be be our beer.
Right. Your boy's back. Yeah, let's get up again. So. I like that he's gone through the effort of making like the straights a little bit rough as well. It's not just flat. That'll add another little bit of difficulty to it. And I was thinking as well, if I think back to uh, when MX and Nations was on this track, the start was hella chaotic. Like, it's such a fast start corner. And as you know, people will not break on this game. So I'm honestly thinking about just trying to go as tight inside as possible and see if I can sneak under everybody. That might be my game plan for today. But so far, kind of uh, kind of vibing with this. Seems nice, seems fun. Definitely seems flowy once you get a bit of a flow going. You just have to be very mindful of where the, the choppy bumps are. I cut in a little bit earlier that time than I normally would because the bumps send you a little bit straighter on so you can't make the apex of the corner. In that, there we go. Definitely it feels rough on this bike but that's to be expected when you're running stock suspension. I'm sure people will be going much faster than I that have spent time to work on an outdoor setup. Yeah, the ruts are built super well. Stretch that out. There we go. That's a proboso moment at its finest. Your front wheel uh, arcs and then grabs in and spits you over the bars. And this billboard's going to block me, isn't it? You bastard. <laughs> ah. right. how, how does my rear wheel start coming this direction? It makes no sense. And then the front end grabs in and just yeets me from the ground. Oh, I love MX bikes so much. What a game. What a game. God knows what music's on Reaper. It's muted my end. I never know what's playing. Um, Racing. I don't know when racing starts, if I'm honest. Probably, in, probably on the hour. Maybe like 13 minutes or so. I think qualifying should be done by then. Servers should be up if servers are working. And they're 30 minute plus two lap motos. So lots of racing to be done. I feel like gate one gets a bit screwed over here. I just saw how tight to the inside it was. I think you got to turn right before you turn left. I don't know why, I stuck into the beginning of that corner so well. And it came out on me in the last second. We'll keep it on the track, there we go. There's only one bad thing about this track, and that is that there are LMC banners. Other than that, really good. Uh, ran a 40 point something. It was like point 0.7. I went a little bit quicker in the practice, but... Oh, no point. No point sitting around in quality all day, so I've come over here to the, uh, the race version.
my outside really isn't that bad. Uh, I think feel like a lot of these alternate lines will be very handy on the opening few laps or when it gets super super rough. I just need to try and identify the point in the race where I need to move over and do something different. Oh, is, is Quali done now? Shall I um, load up the website and see if they're all up? Move this over here. Uh, we're going to my MXB. Might as well close these now. I don't need them anymore. Uh, let's do sign ups, times, and groups. Uh, the bike is the Honda 250. The skin is a private skin for me. Hey, Nevo, I'm starting to feel like that as well. Just a commentator. Well, I'm guessing the website's going to go super slow because everyone's trying to uh, get on there. Actually, how many people signed up? That's ridiculous. That's a lot of sign-ups. Oh, I just realised I've still got the bloody chat on screen. Um, what are your thoughts, by the way, boys? Should I keep this chat there or should I get rid of it? I don't know how I feel about it. Plus, it's actually overlapping on the controller right now. I feel like that makes it too small, so then it has to overlap. Shall I, shall I get rid of the chat box? Or shall I leave it there? Mad that I've only just noticed that it's there still. I'm quite happy to turn it off. I just had it up for um, playing Sons of the Forest. Turn it off. I've got three offs and one on, and an Eva. Reaper's not a fan. Let's get it gone. There we go. Gone now. Happy days. I mean, to be fair, if anybody is interested in seeing the chat, then you get to see the chat on the chat. It doesn't need to be on screen as well. A lot of time when I watch live streams, I just hide the chat anyway. No, no sand tires. I'm still in the Midsoft 80 on the front and Midsoft 120 on the rear. It's not a sand traction track, so just same old, same old. Oh, that's a horrible bump coming out of there. I've only just noticed that. Right, I have to go slower for this rock because it isn't as banked as it looks. Oh, keep it together. And then we'll take far outside. Oh, these are the hot lines, boys. Far outside, far outside. Over the bars, nearly. Oh. No, I eat. Oh, I'll have to take that with McChicken then. I can ask him to add a couple of flames on it. <laughs> this was only a last second thing. I only got it like 20 minutes before <laughs> I went live. But if there is ever any chance of me running the red play, you know I'm going to take it because it doesn't happen very often these days with uh, how good everybody is at this game. So what I want to try and do this race, A is, again, try not to get too triggered if things aren't going very well, and then B is to not look behind quite as much, just need to try and focus on like what I'm doing in, in the moment, because it's not really super cross, there's a very low likelihood that someone's just going to yeet up your inside. Um, yeah, I need to look back less, oh, sign ups up, yep, yeah. or oh, not sign ups, you know, times. Not yet. Any Discord drama going on? Let's have a quick read. Uh, just qualifying servers are open. Uh, oh, Reaper's just sent me a setup. Uh, Reaper, am I allowed to put this on on stream? Uh, am I allowed to quickly enter that setup? Uh, 39, 39, for where fourth place really isn't bad at all since I was only in there for a couple minutes. I'll take it. Yeah, cool, thank you. Right, let me quickly slap this setup on and I'll try it for a, a lap or so before the servers go up. So, uh, fuel can be there. You're weird, aren't you? You change it so it's on the right side, not the left. 
I'll keep the front brake the same, that doesn't bother me. Yeah, you've got your compar comparison as the um, thing, so 90... Uh, 52... 4... Oh, Jesus Christ! 4, 4... I'm going to keep the gear in as mine, just because I'm used to my gear in. And... 21... 4... 5... 1, 5, 4... Uh, save as... Rompadonk. Save, go to track. Alright, so can we try and... Uh, Really try and spin a lap. That's fine. I run. I run a lap or two now. Usually, I'll get a good idea straight away if I if a setup feels good or not. Or I could just run it for the race, lose the red plate, and blame you. That could be a really good cop out. Not a really good uh, way out of doing well. That is a very good title, actually. You're not wrong. Oh, I don't think of content enough. I need to I need to get in that mindset. Oh, then that was a uh, that was a skill issue on my bar there. It doesn't feel like miles different to what I was running at all. Oh my lordy. Uh, races will be starting fairly shortly. Qualifying results and everything are up now, so servers should be going up in a little bit. It's it's going to be way under an hour. You're probably looking at maybe like 10 minutes or so. bad but because I feel more comfortable on mine right now I'm going to run mine but I might try that out a little bit more in between uh, week to week just don't want to change last minute you know uh, yeah this track is free this is a free one I think it's the only free one of the year so if you do want to play any of them then uh, go and give this one a download the link to it is in the description of this live stream oh I need to chill out on the old trigger finger getting a bit bit wild. Hello Latuna, you alright? Oh, I'm in hot here. I feel like it's going to be very easy to override this track. I need to just chill out, especially under braking. So easy to tuck the front end over these bumps. Like bumps like this, where you land into them and you're turning on them at the same time. Slow and steady might win this run. Oh, front end. Thank you. in again. Ah, what's wrong with me? Uh, got to run the input overlay. Yeah, I do when when it's actual race time. Well, uh, actually, the servers up yet? I've not practiced the start. I don't know what the grip's like coming out of it. Uh, let's see. All right, MXB GP. No, it's not up yet. Let me quickly. Boom. 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 Um, start. Just gonna do one one practice start. Oh, 
Oh, can you hear that? I was cracking my fingers. <laughs> oh, gate one's looking prime. I oh, didn't even get the gate wanted anyway. traction on this one. I feel like it's the same as last week. Yeah. Oh my god, Lin's launch is cheating. Uh, race one would be not very far away. You have to shift up to third either. That's nice. Okay, noted. Uh, I've not maxed him. I can do it just over on my other monitor. You know, like I can just press buttons like this and you know, like change scenes back and forth and stuff. Uh, just annoyingly, where I play MX bikes in like proper full screen mode, it it tabs it out and oh, it can be a little bit weird. Nice. Thank you very much, Reaper. I think luck might be needed today. It's the issue with doing well straight away is you uh, only go downhill from there. <laughs> oh, much more enjoyable for me, Barry. I don't know what it is about Sim, but the racing aspect of it just doesn't appeal to me at all these days. WhatsApp's been weird. I'm doing 250 class. Yeah, 300 people is pretty good. Since the race hasn't even started yet. I don't think that the racing's far away. It should only be 10 minutes or so. As long as there was no server issues. How can I just stick to the outside there? It just eliminates a lot of room for error. Now, I'd love to just follow this route as well, because then you haven't got to turn all the sharp bumps. It makes it very difficult to get over to the left here, the low side of the jump. new compounds are very nice. I recorded the video on it today, uh, so that'll be up for tomorrow if anyone's interested in watching that. <clears throat> Starting to run out of names for these videos on like they make the really good compounds. It's really good fun. A lot, a lot of the tracks. Well, the motocross track is, you know, it's just motocross tracks. Fun, fast, big ruts, big jumps, and then the supercross track and the pit bike track on it as well. They're I've uh, got some pretty unique sections with split sections and multiple line choices, which I always like. I feel like it's probably very, very difficult to, to design and make and get it to flow correctly, but he's done a really good job on it. Yeah, 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 it's paid. Which I, I don't mind. Hiram puts a lot of work in. This one is definitely worth being paid for. And he, he puts out free tracks as well, doesn't he? He, puts out, he put out the, uh, the Mosh Pit Pit Bike track the other day. Which was really good and free. Oh! Oh, almost went. That's certainly an odd line. 
Right, are these servers going up? Uh, qualifying results are up. Servers are back down. Oh, God. No, it can't be true. Please. Please. Oh, Poboso, you should fix it. Oh. I'm just reading the uh, the dev chat real quick. It's uh, it's a very unhappy Nico. Race servers are open. Well, about that medium. <laughs> oh god. I mean, Troy is being affected the most with these servers going down. The MMR grinding has come to a halt. <laughs> oh, it's just... It's so frustrating. It really is. Because like, I can't even do... I can't do anything on this. Like, I can't make use of the time to maybe record a multiplayer video. We can't do public lobby stuff. Yeah, Troy's MMR is gone. Every now and then I'll get this, where a handful of servers work. But not the ones that you want, ever. I'm, just gonna, I'm not going to touch anything. I'm going to sit here and see what loads and what doesn't load. I'll chat to you guys in the meantime. How are we doing? What's what's, what's happening? Things Poposo can't even help at the moment. He's on vacation in the Middle East, so he's like eight hours ahead. So it's like 4 a.m. For, for him at the moment. That's it as well, Troy. And I feel like it's going to get to a point where if it doesn't get fixed, people are just going to be like, well, why, why am I wasting my time on it then? And they're just going to go and do other stuff, and that's when the game will fully die which is uh, kind of a scary thought, because I do I need this game. As much as it hurts to admit that, I do need it. Oh, I shouldn't have pressed the refresh button. God damn it. So, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm going to keep an eye on the Discord uh, to see if it's going to be postponed or rescheduled or cancelled. If it gets cancelled, your boy's loading up the forest straight away, and I'll have to retitle the video. Or retitle the stream at least. So either way, you're gonna get a you're gonna get a stream out of me. I actually I've, I've, I was gonna put Discord on the screen then, but I've, I realised that would be an actually awful idea of all the the gifts and stuff that be putting up. I'm sure I'll be banned in a second. I mean, we can go and do some Papiti races, boys. Shall we? <laughs> Should we hop in the empty Papiti servers? Oh God. Apparently, there's a cut on Club now. I don't know why Club's still up. Apparently there's like a really bad cut that you gain a load of time on. Uh, that's not how it works, Spear Thumb. It's, there's a master server that I'm guessing Poposo just pays for. He doesn't actually run it himself. Because they were doing this before he went on vacation anyway. So it's not like him being away is what's causing this, if you know what I mean. Well, let's um let's do some research real quick. So if I type in MX bikes Steam charts, and does this show us like exact? It does show us exact times of day, right? So today is the sixth. So it's dying right as it's reaching about one thousand nine hundred ish players here throughout the day. So that could indicate that it's too much. However, Poboso has kept an eye on it. And apparently after, what day was NA? NA was the 3rd. So around here, they also went down when it's at his peak. And he said there wasn't anything indicating anything wrong. So, mm, it's, it's definitely a tricky one. And then yesterday, the servers died 
around here, around six, when they were trying to host the 125 series. Yeah, I think they was fine around here when they was hosting NA. So, don't get it. Do not get it at all. It's hella frustrating. Uh, hang on, let me just take a screenshot of this, because these boys are, uh... I think it is just to do with the flow. Let's do copy. Send that over there. Oh, so annoying. Let's do a little bit of looking back in the past as well. This is where I started playing. I have to say that there was no server issues there at all. Uh, this is where I started making videos. <laughs> and we are all the way up to. So uh, I notice how the yeah the average players was its highest when Supercross dropped. Pretty cool. I think this was like Supercross slash Beta 18 at the same time that got us uh, 2661. Um, I can't say if the race is off or not just yet. I'm just keeping an eye on the Discord uh, channel to see if there's going to be an announcement at all. It's header annoying for like, people like me and then Reaper as well when you've got a stream set up and going. You've got to try and like keep people entertained in some downtime to see if they're going to work or not. You see, like that's what I don't get is some servers work, but not all. And it's not like it's just all empty servers. You know, there's like really random servers that are working here. But I do MXB, GP, nothing. Wait, what? You got to play five dollars to play on this server? That's odd. Don't know what that is. <laughs> now, apparently, you know how MX Sim you can join by like a a direct link. Apparently you can do that on bikes as well, but you can't do it through Steam. You've got to have the standalone version or something else. So if they could implement it so it can join a server through Steam through a direct link, then it should be fine. Because all the servers, they are working. You know, like, let's do... I mean, that one. Like, the servers do work. They're just not displaying for people. But behind the scenes, they're there. You just can't see them. <clears throat> right. Point one five road. That's quite low. I don't. I wasn't paying attention actually on what it was on before, like last round. But yes, yeah, hello. Oh. Oh God, Valentin's on a laptop. Love that. I love saying his name, it's like the most French name ever, Valentin Ledeur. Ledeur. Le Sacre Bleu. Oh, can't go that way. I don't think there's any way over to the uh, the infielders there without going on the track. Yo, yeet. Oh, there's respawn delays, oh, I forgot that. Oh, let me move my control up a little bit so you boys can see the respawn delay. See if you can see it now if I crash again. Uh, let's go up a tiny bit more. There you go. Right, you can see the respawn delay now. Whenever I crash, you can see me spamming the reset button. Hmm. 
<laughs> it looks like we might have a race after all, boys, as long as everyone can get in real quick before uh, they go down again. Hmm, I was about to launch off here, but I have a sneak... Oh! I was about to say, I have a feeling that this is where the map ends. And that wall has confirmed my suspicions. <laughs> oh, well, we do what we always do in MX Bikes. When we're waiting for a race, and that is bike life. What's this random hole for? Rip. Oh, looking at that like fence there just killed my FPS. We've got a sea of red going on. Um, it's six six point five is enough, isn't it? I, I swear I started with about seven last week and then turned it down for race two. up that time so you guys can hear me rip ass like last time. <laughs> we got any like unique white choices in here at all? We've got a KTM, see a Husky, see a Yami. I don't think there's anything weird and wonderful. Got any like Suzuki's or anything in it? Another KTM. Yeah, I I'm I don't dislike the Husky at all. I tried it uh, like mid last week. Uh, I tried it on the Matley Basin rack as well, and it's okay. It's, it feels hella stiff. Uh, it doesn't handle the bumps very well. Smooth tracks is a dream. But yeah, anything a bit rough and deeper road, it gets a little bit, a little bit shaky. Um, apparently, we're going already. Is that everybody in? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, wish me luck, boys. No, don't wish me luck. This isn't the race at all. Wrong button. Medium. L, L host. L host moment. Um, people put links to their team skins I could download, I just can't be asked with how un un unoptimized and slow the loading times are on this game. So I just don't bother. This feels quite framey, which worries me. And I'm worried that the whole race is going to be like it. not try the two banger because I want a chance of doing well. <laughs> I, you can only ride, you, you can't even ride the two strokes in this series but if you could it would only be the one two fives and they're just no real competition for the two fifties at all. Oh shit I forgot we do this shit where, never mind I'm being an idiot, I forgot that we can ride on the track for ten minutes. I forgot this was a thing. I f oh I'm an idiot. I've done this last week. I was like, uh, why is everyone on the track? That's not allowed. And then really late afterwards, remembered. Oh, 
well, may as well try and get the uh, the lines a little bit dialed, haven't we? Yes, I mean it's a little bit framey, but you, you guys won't notice it on your end because it's above 60 FPS. But I can feel it for me. overzealous turning from one side to the other third person action why not oh no <laughs> well that might have been a bit too uh, too overzealous didn't think that was coming back around You know what, Spear Thumb? That's actually a really good idea. I don't know why I've not thought of that. Thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do that actually. Oh my Jesus Christ! Yeah, once the um. Once the back end starts skipping a little bit over these choppy, tiny bumps, it's really hard to get back traction. Kind of stays out the entire time. For real, for real. No cap, no kizzy. Uh, it does indeed. Lombard oh, yeah. Lombardia, aka Mantova, aka JVM Exonations 2021, aka Mantua. Real, real tracks, just different iterations. Stop track Mantua because copyright issues. Um, MX Nations 2021 because that's where the track it was held, and then this is an updated version of that 2021 track by JV again for the GP season. Real track, same as last week. A bit coincidental, isn't it, that <clears throat> the first two rounds of this series have been rounds that Piboso has, or Snap has made in-game as stock tracks. Oh, Frizz, in the nicest way possible, you need to lower that. Like, you are limiting yourself so hard on 130. Even if you drop it to, like, 120, it will help, but, yeah, in my opinion, even that's still too high. You got things coming at you so quickly. There's no way you can like ride to the full ability. Uh, all of the aerial supercross tracks are replicas, yes, except for Daytona. Daytona was a custom one because the track was the same as last year, and that track already exists in game. Every, every other one is a replica. Well, fr from the track map, that is. They get made before the real life event, so if real life changes the track by adding like a single or taking away a single here and there, that won't reflect in game because tr the track's in game is made in advance, but yeah, it's like 99% replica. Hey, Scalia, thank you very much. Nice to have you here as well. <clears throat> I should probably be actually using this time to learn the track better, shouldn't I, rather than reading, reading chat so much.
or very framey in this part of the track. I think it's where I'm next to all of these models on the infield. I'm surprised they let us do this because yeah, you do occasionally get the old uh, death ruts form when they reset the track for the races. The key for that corner is to turn as little as possible, but it's hard because you still want to turn really tight to hit the left side of the jump afterwards. Uh, the road's on 0 0.15 for this event. It's a very, very quick track. I think the racing on it is going to be quite intense. I also think it's going to be very hard to gain time if you do end up going down. It'll be quite a hard one to pass on. It can be quite one-lined in some places. Uh, yeah, they've been in... Medium tyres have been in it the whole time since the 18 update. Turn off the shading and pull down draw distance. Uh, oh, thank you, JV. But too late now. <laughs> too late. <laughs> We're going into the race. It's fine. If it's that bad, I'll change it for uh, change it for Moto 2. I'm scared about not having enough fuel. I'll put it up a little bit. Are we missing someone? We are. Oh, thank God he was able to get in. The oh, last thing you want is a server reset from someone leaving and joining. There we go. Race time. Race time! Oh, right. Here we go, boys. Let's settle in for a long one. <coughs> oh, we've got Axel to my left, who was not my best friend at the end of, uh, well, during Moto 2 last week. Doing a bit of blocking as a lapper for his teammate who was winning. <clears throat> oh, right, here we go. I'm just going to drift wide. I can't drift wide because fuckers on the inside don't break as always. And i got to see it for five seconds because of the reset delay. Alright, let's thread the needle. Thread the needle. Thread the needle. Oh. Get most of your passes done on that one, so we'll try and get past a whole bunch of people. Let me check up a bit there because I've not got the speed for that. I'm going to go around the outside. Try and dodge all the down riders. Please don't jump left, Submac. Thank you. Oh, that was hella of an annoying start. I feel like I had a like, good half a bike limp on the people on the inside as well, but... MX bikes. Netcode. Awful. Don't matter. Didn't do anything there either. And got to sit for another three seconds. And I'm stuck inside. Okay. Well, this start couldn't have gone much worse. Fine, it's a long race. It's such a difficult track to pass on, it's just one fast line everywhere. It always is on this track though, it's just the layout of it. Oh my god, what are people doing? Oh, 
oh, this is actually scary. <laughs> Look at this, people just diving up the inside of each other, making people crash. Exactly what I'm doing, up the inside. I want this inside here, I don't want to give it up. Still think I'm in like... Oh, actually, no, never mind. I saw the number 15 just now, but now I see number 20. Yeah, I'm a long way back. Holy. How many seconds is that? 22 seconds on lap one. Oh, and the guy who's in second place in the championship's in second. Love that for me. Got a settle in here, boys. We got a long race ahead of us. Jesus Christ. I think the name of the game this race is just to try and capitalize on everybody else's mistakes. Try and look as far up the road as possible in case someone's crashed. We've got Panda in front of us. We've got our teammate on the Husky. Bit of, a, bit of a brave scrub on my half. Our fin's up here as well, so fin's had a bad start. See so up here, I mean back here. Oh my god. Oh my Jesus Christ. Oh, lovely low line from Croquette there. I think I've just crossed up the shit out of Finn. Hopefully he's still alive. Jesus, that gave me a horrible kick. Right, noted. You're going to start getting some horrible kicks into these corners. I can feel it already. There's no way I was going to get away with that inside there. Oh, you fucker. And that cost me four seconds. Ah. Oh, God damn it. Like I'm saying, very difficult to pass. Inside's very OP on this track. That was... I made such good progress that lap as well. It's so infuriating, man. I mean, Croquette's done nothing wrong there. He had the inside line. Like, it is his line. He can move out there if he wants to. It's just incredibly infuriating when you try and make a pass by taking a different line from the inside and it screws you over. Even worse when you then get four second uh, reset delay. I was making really good time up on the lead as well. It started at like 22 and a half seconds and I got it down to 20. Ah. Oh.
now we go back to work. And obviously, the later into the race we get, the harder it's going to be to uh, to make passes. And the person we need to be is in P1. Being sat behind Jackson, man. He's so fast, but so inconsistent. Oh, for fuck's sake, get out of my way. Getting super cross flashbacks of being sat behind him. Now I'm scared of changing lines because I'm am I just going to get barshed again from behind? I feel like I'm riding really well, but 20 BP 11 right now? Very hard, very hard to take. Was someone dead? Embarrassing. Jesus, my bum was clenched. Oh, now Vinny's going middle. God damn it! I thought he was going inside. doesn't know when to shut off and not dive up the inside of people and throw it sideways. Oh my god, fucking front end. to P8, still not very good. How to lose your red plate in one race.
Right, back to where I was about 10 minutes ago. With another extremely uh, aggressive rider. I'm just going to follow him in this time. I'm not going to go outside and try making a pass. Oh, God. I've lost like five seconds in that last lap, but I don't think I've done anything wrong. Is Mateo just like on absolute burners right now? Is he, is he him? I think I've got cuts from somewhere because I crossed the line in front of Cobb, but it says Cobb's in front of me. So I need to get a move on and try and gain some more positions. Still got, we're not even halfway through the race. Literally just seen that. That's actually disgusting. Uh, hello to all 463 people watching as well. Just noticed that. Jesus. Oh shit, we'll be down here. Oh, thank god. I'd rather just go over the rut than uh, <laughs> try and hold onto it and lose four seconds from a respawn delay. Oh god. Looks like Finn's been following me through the pack as well. I don't know how many seconds of cuts I've got, but at least one. I think that is a position right there as well. Yeah, it is. Valentin. And there goes the front end again. Ah, we see it for half an hour. I don't think there's anybody other than the race hosts who want there to be a respawn delay. It's so infuriating. I think if MX Bikes physics were a little bit more predictable and you didn't just get a weird front end shit every now and then, yeah, I, I wouldn't mind it.
the track is starting to get very front end tucky in these deep ruts. Are you taking the piss? Oh my god. And I course it fuck why? What's wrong with this game that it makes my bike do a 180 when it's come to a stop? Jesus Christ man. What else could go wrong? I feel like I'm genuinely falling out of love with this game more and more as the races go on. There is so much shit in it that doesn't make sense. A bit of uh, <coughs> no man's land here at the moment. Six seconds in front, 13 seconds beyond. Uh, if I could get fourth, that'd be great. I mean, still not ideal, but something. Made me fucking crash again. Yep. Oh. Bike's just so unplanted, it just wobbles. Like it's constantly trying to correct itself when you don't want it to. Like, no, I just want you to turn, stop trying to stand yourself up again because you've hit a small bump.
Oh my, just going a straight line. Jesus. Are we into lapis at last? There's literally two positions right in front of me. Well, I could salvage a third out of this mess of a race somehow. First one is Jay, second one is Valentin. I imagine one will be much harder than the other to get around, because Jay does race you hard. Oh. Never mind, they're both done. And I do have a second of cuts, so... I have to get a move on, I can't just accept the position and that's it. Finn's barking by the way, he's gaining on Mateo loads. If he didn't miss round one, he would have been a major title threat. Although, <clears throat> it is a 17 round series, so knowing him, he can probably get all them points back that he missed. I'm kind of rooting for Phoenix. If he gets that win, then I only lose <coughs> two points to Matteo rather than five. This is a hell of a lot of lappers that I'm coming up to. This is scary. All I need is for one of them to go down, and then I get into them because of laggy teleporting bikes, and I have to sit on the floor for four seconds. Love how my voice is going as well. Too much complaining. I see yellow flags, and that scares me. Oh god. He reappears in front of me and I crash into him, I'm gonna cry. Oh god. 
hoping that he's gone or he's lagged out or something. Oh, there's a bike around here somewhere. There it is. Gaps at the front seem to have uh, stabilised now. It's been staying at about 16 seconds. Mine's been staying at about 40 the entire time. And I think everyone's just like picking their way around the track, to be honest, rather than trying to go fast. Just trying to survive at this point. Oh, there's Jackson. Was making mistakes out in front. Finn could get that. It's only nine seconds off. This is very difficult when you uh, catch up with two lappers that are in their own battle. Right. The booms let me pass. Will Kens? Yes, love that. No, never mind. Fuck me. And I've literally just killed him. I don't even remember lapping Toxic. Where's he come from? Got more bikes down. Yo, oh, that switchback is getting horrendous. Really difficult. God, is it last lap yet? <laughs> Bloody hands are aching. Trouble's getting sweaty. Fingers are cramping. And many mistakes are being made.
That's a lot of riders. Almost double coming out of that corner, so weird. Last lap this time round, okay, there we go. Oh, it's been a long race. <clears throat> Kind of, I've been messing around with standing up around some of these corners throughout the race, and I have no idea how Finn does it everywhere. I feel like the traction's hella weird. The bike's super sensitive when you sit up the whole time. But if you learn the game like that, then it makes sense. So yeah, third ain't bad, but being 42 seconds off the lead is very, very bad. And I can't even blame uh, what happened at the start, because I was with Finn at one point, and he's now only uh, eight seconds off. one in the books jesus christ that was a that was a ride oh god oh. No, Matteo didn't. Matteo was there from the start, but Finn, who finished in second, he was with me at one point, like mid-pack, battling through, so it shows that if I rode better in that race, I could have been up there, but yeah, that start's hella frustrating, man. I don't know. I don't want to call foul play at all. Ah. Uh, let me just have a quick, quick browse at this. You're going to hear me twice for a second. Actually, no, never mind. It's fine. Uh, minus... 34, 36. Right, so. I'm going to go by our step by step analysis. Analysis. This is Axel here on my inside, who is teammates with Matteo, by the way. So, if we're looking at the shadows. No, nope, yeah, whoever was to the left of Axel is the one with no brain. So, one, two, three, three riders over. Uh, so, Axel is quite clearly in front here. As you can see, his head is miles ahead. But, oh, there's two people on the inside. These two people on the inside here are what cause everybody else to crash. Like, people don't break. And I, I think here, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to go up in this direction whilst everyone else hugs it tight and I'll be fine. But, no, Axel gets punted, I get punted, next to me gets punted, and so on and so forth. And then I have to lay on the ground for five seconds because of nothing I've done, and everybody else goes. Yeah. We love it. We absolutely... Love the respawn delay. <clears throat> oh, 
Tour. Nice. Thank you very much, Carl. Congratulations on your first win as well. Big dubs. Love that. Love that for you. Oh, take a bit more fuel out because I see that plenty. Let's go down to 6.2. <clears throat> Um, no, I won't be playing the forest tonight, Josh, I'm afraid. Because this, the race will be done at about 9.45, 9.50. And I'd only really be able to stream it for an hour. And I wouldn't be able to get too into it. <clears throat> oh, stretch. Oh, God. The old man back has returned. Yeah, hopefully the next start goes a little bit better. Can't be too upset with a third after how that went. Can be upset with losing out on five points, and now my lead is only four points. But we'll see how Moto 2 goes. <laughs> no tracker resets either, so it'll be as rough as it was in that last one at the very beginning. So we might see some different lines, but I feel like the track's probably got as deep as it's going to get now. Yeah, I've seen the track where so I recorded a video on it today, which will uh, be going live tomorrow in 11 hours time from now. <clears throat> so my normal upload time, but yeah, it's just the next video. Something about red plates on Hondas, isn't there? So nice. Uh, time for me right now is 9pm. Uh, there's only a five minute break between motos, so next moto shouldn't uh, be very far away. I can feel, I don't know if you can hear it, my voice is gone. <laughs> it's just going more and more and more. It'll be gone by the end. I think it's just because in, like, in my day to day I don't really talk much. Like, I have no need to. It's not like I'm having conversations with people all day long. So then when I'm streaming and I have a couple of hours straight of talking, I just think my voice isn't used to it. Uh, I'll keep my red plate if I don't lose more than four points in this mower. <clears throat> so if Matteo wins and I come second, I'll still have it by a point. If Matteo comes second and I come fourth, we'd be tired for it. Uh, track was free because it's just an updated version of a track that already existed by JV as well. So he thought it would be a, be a bit of a dick move, I suppose, to, to sell it when it already exists. He's just kind of updated his 2021 MX of Nations track. So it's going to be the only free one of the season. So if there are any of the MXGPs that you wanted to try out, then give this one a go. And I think I think he could have quite easily charged for it, so I think that's a big, big dub on his behalf. Boys, motor number two already. And I really need a Wii. This is bad timing. It's fine. Right, who have we got on the inside that we can blame for the start next time? I don't know. I don't know who's this next to me. I can't make out the name. I think it's Hakon. Let's say Hakon. Uh, all the names kind of override each other. Not sure. It's 
fun. <clears throat> we'll see how it goes. If I get a good jump, going for it. And bad jump, I just have to try and check up and see if I can sneak up the inside. Uh, I do do joint brakes, Alf, yes. I've got <clears throat> both of my brakes combined onto left trigger, and then my left bumper is uh, rear brake only. <clears throat> And I've been here up the arse again. I think that was Panda that time. I don't know I don't know what to do. Like there's nobody on my screen when I'm going into that corner. It's not like I can avoid anybody. Ah, we go to work again. At least Mateo's there, he's not up in the lead. And if that For fuck's sake! I uh, I dodge it, and I still get pinballed. You gotta be taking the piss. I guess. Oh, I'm I'm stuck on his fucking bike. Literally stuck inside of him. I can't move. Ah, oh, this game. And it spawned me halfway across the fucking track. Oh, I hate this game for passion, man. Transfer. Can you see why I get frustrated at this game, boys? I can ride as well as I want, but if the game is physically morphing me into somebody where I can't move and then spawning me across the map, I, it's, <laughs> I'm not a magician. It could have been alright, if I'm honest, because Matteo was right there, he was with me, he was having a bad start too, and now I'm fucked again by more bikes flying all over the place. Ah! I think I might send a very strongly worded DM to Nico after this. <clears throat> Saying to turn off the fucking reset delay. I shouldn't be punished this much for other people's mistakes. Oh my god. You know what? Fuck it. My outside. Not being nice to people for the rest of this race and getting triggered. wrong with people. Just don't whip far one side of the track to the other when someone's next to you, I beg. <clears throat> oh, we got a long way to go, boys. It's a long race. I mean, I could... And it last race. Might be able to get top three again, maybe. Never mind. Four seconds that crash cost me. Four. Why is it so fucking inconsistent? I can topple over and get four. I can hit someone fifth wide open and get two.
I may be going quite quiet here for a while, boys. I need to concentrate. Oh, sick, 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 sick. Eh, yeah, maybe crash after waiting all that time. Why not? And there'll be cuts for that as well, because I missed a bunch of the track. <coughs> P19. Lovely. It's so it's so difficult because if I didn't have those issues at the start, getting yeeted off the track, then I wouldn't be down in the first place. So I wouldn't have to push as hard as I do, so then I wouldn't have more mistakes. It's just like a compounding thing. It's so hard to come back when you are at the back. Because if you just ride like normal race pace speed, you're not going to gain on anybody. Right, you've got to be pushing it the whole time. If I, had, if I had any bit of hurls, then I wouldn't be back here, I promise you that. There's there's none of it to engage, unfortunately. Best lap this so far, this race is a 47, that's actually abysmal. I did say last week, didn't I, when I won, like, it's only, you can only go downhill from there. such a big gap in front of me.
Not sure if Tyler let me through there or if he made a mistake, but that play, I'll take it. Fucking hell, man. What am I meant to do with people like that? Oh, and I'm going to crash again. Oh. And again. Imagine being able to pull away without doing a fucking backflip. Oh, Jesus Christ. I make so much fucking progress just to be cross-jumped as shit. Ugh. What's pissed me off there is I was about to be inside the top 10. Mateo's not even in the top 4 yet, so he could have been near. And now I'm fucking back in 16th. This is ridiculous. Oh, I'm just going to fucking punch my mono in a second. Fuck it, it's so odd being stuck back in Spudland. I crash again. <sighs> again, if I wasn't streaming this, I would probably be gone. Because I'm not enjoying this in the slightest. I'd like to point out that I lost 20 seconds on the last lap. 2-0. And I'm still only 38 seconds off the lead. say just chill out and ride smooth as if I, I don't want to do that you know <laughs> so yes I'm intentionally crashing I'm inten intentionally getting kicked all over the place by the braking bumps I'm intentionally tucking the front end in the deep ruts I'm intentionally getting cross jumped by people I'm intentionally doing backflips when I pull away because the traction on this game is all or nothing If I ride at a speed where I know 100% I'm never going to crash, I may as well just end the race now because that's where I'm going to finish. Like, I have to push to try and catch up to people. And all of it stems from being taken out by people that don't know how to brake in the first corner. You're fighting a losing battle from the very beginning. 
And I don't know what I could have done differently on that start. I was ahead of everyone on my screen, and then all of a sudden, I'm dead off the track. Oh my god, thank you very much, Broby. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, end my suffering. I'm gonna fucking crash again, am I? Happens so quickly as well. This is going to be uh, one of them right off races, I'm afraid. Like, look, please fucking rewind that and watch my controller input. I've just simply turned left and I've just gone flop flopping over on the floor. Oh my god. And the worst part is, these 250s handle a lot better than the 450s do. I dread to think what the 450 boys are going through right now. This is what triggers me now, is people are actually letting me pass and I just keep crashing. So like people that are subscribed that are nice enough to let me buy because they know I'm faster in terms of pace, but because I'm so shit and just crashing all over the place, I keep getting past again. Yes, true. <clears throat> I, I do like Parks and Rec though. Big W of a program. I am Ron. I wish I had a mustache like Ron. There you go. Matteo is in fourth place. Probably soon to be second or first because he's only 12 seconds behind. And the people out in front are having as much grief as I am. They just didn't get destroyed in turn one. Oh my god. Right. Turn left. Oh my god. <laughs> What was wrong with that hump? I don't think I could take it much slower if I tried. I, I am intentionally being careful over it, but... Game says no.
Jackson, you fucking little cunt, get out of the way when you're being lapped. Fuck me, little hot lap hero doesn't know how to race to save his fucking life. Ugh. Well, could have had a P5 there, but no. Get fucked, as always. Ugh. So, thoughts on me doing a silent stream next time I race, because it works a lot better than me talking, by the looks of it.
Oh, every single time I race against Jackson, he does well in quality and then he's just shit throughout the races and gets in the way. Oh. There you go. There's P5 to about P9 in the space of the last lap. Love that. Big Dubski. I was riding so fucking good in the second half of that. Yeah, I think the next streams might end up being silent ones. It doesn't even matter if I pass these fuckers either. I got two seconds of cuts from the rest of this shit race, so... Oh, how fun. What a fun experience. Oh, I'm gonna get landed on now. No point fucking waiting now, is there, you idiot? Jesus Christ. Ah! There's another stream done, boys. That's done. Shit race. Lost a hell of a lot of points. Um, might consider not talking for the next stream when I'm racing because I've done a hell of a lot better. Lots of mistakes on my end that I think I'm going to play out throughout the week to fix. Lots of mistakes on other people's end that I end up being a victim of that I can't fix. Might ask Nico if we can remove the reset delay. Um, yeah. Don't know what else to say other than that. Uh, I thought I was riding so much better without talking you know uh i got third in the first race and that was like a ninth or something i didn't pay attention i was out of there before i had a chance um so i lost a hell of a lot of points i'm probably like i don't know 10 10 down now but yeah i might might stay quiet next time rather than trying to make it entertaining because yeah i'm not uh, don't don't bother commenting jackson i'm not in the mood all, all the time you do this but like, you need to learn how to race like, it's fine, get your qualifying quick laps, but you can't keep going for quick laps over and over and over in the races and then get in the way when you're being lapped. It's incredibly frustrating. So, I don't know where I got overall there. Probably about fifth or something like that. Um, yeah. Don't know, uh, don't know what else to say about it, really. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, that's fine, Frosty. Oh, what's he saying? Let me scroll up a little bit. Oh, uh, you can't be telling me to crash. That's not very fair. That's fine. Thing is, I, I know that 90% of that race is skill issue from all of my crashes. 10% is getting upped over by other people's crashes. Um, actually, no, like 8% and then 2% is just lappers, I suppose. Annoyingly, the track is a lot of fun. That's the annoying bit. But I think it's a lot of fun to ride by yourself... I don't think it's the best for racing because majority of the track was just inside everywhere. So then if you do try venturing out to try and pass someone, you're screwed. <laughs> <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, uh, Ginger, I need you to teach me how to get good starts, mate. Uh, uh, shall, we, shall we do a quick, quick re-look, re quick recap? Uh, let's change this to live. Let's skip back to the start. Right. Let's see how much I get addicted this time. Actually, let's go back. Eight drops. I'm I'm so alone here. Like I'm not near anybody. At all. Not near anybody. At all. Not near any, like there's no shadow on my screen. It's not like there's someone like here on the inside, here beside me. Nobody. 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 Get fucked. Hit from behind. Like, what am I meant to do? Oh. I can hate if it's more than one occurrence, Manfred. Like, I wouldn't do it if it was a one-off thing, but it happens a lot. And after all of the uh, Supercross races as well, when I hop in Discord with other people and see their first-person views of the race, it's not just me. So I think it's, racing needs to be worked on a little bit. But then, so does mine, because I shouldn't be in that position in the first place. I should be up there not getting fucked around at the back, but... Oh, it's fine. Um, I think the issue might be, Frosty, is I've not got a one-off customised model swap for me and me only that adds 10 horsepower as well. So, if you could work on that for me, <laughs> then we'll come back and I'll be fine. But I'm, I'm pissed. Uh, uh, I, I, the thing is, I, I understand that 
as well, Smiggy, and it, it goes through my head off of every start. But when I'm here, th there's no part of me that goes, right, I need to check up right now and tuck underneath because I'm going to get destroyed. Like, what, <laughs> what am I meant to... Th there's nobody here! Like, why should I be checking up here? I, it, oh. Ah! Oh, no. It's incredibly frustrating. Like, hella frustrating. And I think the fact that makes it more annoying is this little fucker right here having to wait four seconds and still wait. Bike facing the wrong way as always, by the way. And still wait. And now we get going. And it's a very it's painful experience. Like, super, super painful. No, but even, even on the start straight, like, I can understand if I've got an awful jump. But I've got a good jump. Like, I'm ahead of him. Uh, I'm ahead of this person. This guy is wheeling beside me, so he's going to have to bring it down. So I'm going to be ahead. I, I'm ahead here. So I feel like... At this point here, I feel like I've got a really good start. So to check up here, in my opinion, would be weird. Bear in mind I'm on gate 12 or so as well. So although you can only see three shadows there on my left, there is another 11 bikes on my inside. So if I check up, I'm either going to get rammed up the arse still anyway. Or I'm not going to be able to fully move over to the left because the people on the inside have the same idea. <coughs> so I'm not too sure about that. <laughs> uh, I I don't know what it is. But this race and the aerial race the other day that I rage quit. I have been getting so like, pissed. It's unreal. Even when I even going into the race, saying that I need to go and just be chill in it, as soon as the gate drops, my brain switches. And it's like you saw God knows what time was it? Probably like at this point in the race, I was absolutely schmoving. I was putting down heater after heater. I, I don't I didn't pay attention to the, the gap here that was up to the lead, but I definitely there's no way I could have been losing time. I was absolutely moving, like passing everybody. I was on for a P4 at one point, maybe even a third, because I saw Hack on at one point as well. And then, yeah, I just get into the back of Alapa and drop back down to P8, which is frustrating, you know? Get into marijuana? No, it's not, not my sort of thing. Not my sort of thing at all. But if you enjoy raging, you must have been loving this stream. If you don't enjoy raging, I apologise. <laughs> I, I do apologise. Nothing else to say about it. But yeah, I think I definitely might consider just trying next thing, just trying to be a bit quiet. Because I don't know everyone's opinion of it, whether you'd rather see me do better or you'd rather it try and be a little bit more entertaining. But as soon as I shut up and started concentrating and not looking over at chat in the air of all the jumps, I started playing really well. So maybe, um, maybe we'll see. We'll see at some point. But there's a lot of good takeaways out of that. <clears throat> there's a lot of bad takeaways out of that as well. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. So, on... What day is it? On Friday, I've got EU Aerial, which I'll be doing 100%. Not doing NA, not staying up for NA. Um, I think Saturday at the very latest is when I want to do the next... Um, what's it called? Next The Forest. Sons of the Forest episode. So it might be before then. I might manage to squeeze in during this week. If not, it'll be Saturday at the very latest. So if you didn't manage to stop by on the last one, see if you can stop by on this one. It's kind of around the same time that I do these streams, to be honest, just on a Saturday. And I hope you um, hope you enjoy it. I'm certainly going to enjoy it. What I might do, Reaper, is turn my mic off and on Streamlabs, I might pull it in performance mode, so I can't even see the recording or chat at all, it's just blank, so I'm just, I'm in and I'm playing and not thinking about it, because I feel like that might be, uh, might be slightly better. Um, I'm seeing a lot of people saying they'd rather me just be quiet and, and ride, ride better, so I will, I'll certainly try and do that. Um, tomorrow's video is on Huron's new track, I definitely recommend checking the track out, or just watching the video and seeing if you'll like it from there, because it's really, really good can't lie motocross track is wide open some big old booters supercross track is very unique actually there's a couple of split sections in there 
lots of unique jump lines as well and then there's a pit bike track which has like it's got like a custom ramp and a on off onto a, a container so yeah it's really really fun so definitely go and uh, go and check it out so i'm gonna love you and leave you i'm going to probably beat my mate to de-stress and then go to sleep and i'll catch you guys <laughs> in tomorrow's video goodbye